Hi, I'm dating expert Hayley Quinn and in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about double binds. Now, a double bind that's keeping you single could be a mindset that you're living in right now that's just actively preventing you from getting out and meeting new people. One of my goals isn't to say that being single is wrong. In fact, being single is a great choice for you to make. It shows that you have great standards for yourself and that you're not prepared to settle. This is awesome. However, I do want you to remember that sometimes we can get ourselves into states of mind where we manage to eliminate all possible opportunities to create the change that you might really want. So if you're looking around thinking, how did my life get like this? And I want to get out of this rut. And in fact, I'm not happy. I want you to look at your mindsets that you're holding more towards dating and love and thinking, are there some here that are really keeping you in a dating rut? The first double bind that I want to suggest to you is, I won't approach him and I find it creepy when guys approach me. Now, this basically eliminates all possible, <laughs> possible times that you could meet someone. Now, if you're thinking that you can't approach a man in case he judges you that you're non-girlfriend material, I want to remind you that if any man meets you and has the pleasure of having your company, and that is the, honestly the first thought that comes to his mind, he is not demonstrating the adequate levels of social intelligence necessary to be your boyfriend. We're living in a modern age, and I think it's actually pretty cool for women to want to say hello to guys. By the way, if you want some exact phrases to know about how to start conversations with guys, I have a free PDF for you at hayleyquinn.com forward slash real love. Also, if you then carry the mindset that you find guys that approach you are creepy, um, what you're probably realizing is that your current dating behavior is creating a bad filter for the people that you wanna meet in your life. It could mean that the people that are approaching you are the guys that, I don't know, are feeling super confident that day. Maybe they're a player. Um, maybe they've just had a few too many drinks. And so suddenly you're thinking, wow, all the guys that say hello to me are really not the guys I'd like to date. But I don't feel like I can say hello to them because if I do, then, you know, men like the chase and I've ruined it rubbish. Instead, you want to appreciate that actually to say hello to somebody is difficult. Let's have some empathy for the guys here. And I bet if he's a guy that is conscientious, if he's respectful, the chances of him being the first guy to approach you in a bar or a party is very slim. Instead, if you want to meet the guys who are best and most compatible for you and turning up as being respectful, cool, awesome dudes, the best thing you can do is start to develop and discover the skills to meet him and start conversations with guys in real life. Another double bind that you might have created for yourself is where you feel okay to meet someone. You could be probably really bored by this stage with dating apps and think, oh, you know, everyone you meet on a dating app, they never turn out how you think they're gonna turn out. It's really hard to judge compatibility. It's even difficult sometimes, I think, to feel the motivation to physically leave the house to go and meet someone, which is normal because they are, in effect, a stranger to you. So you could say, I don't like meeting guys online. But then if you follow that by saying, um, I don't know where to meet, where the good guys have gone in real life, you start to create another double bind where it's like, well, where can you meet someone? Instead, one of the most important mindsets that you can bring to create and change and get out of this dating rut is to look for opportunities in your life, opportunities to meet people. Now, this could be a simple practice that I recommend to everybody I work with, which is developing the skill of turning up early. Now, I say this as someone who is terrible at turning up on time for things, but if you wanna meet more people, turning up 20 minutes early will be really helpful. The reason for this is, if a guy sees you avidly chatting to one of your female friends, he's gonna think that you're already occupied doing something else, and therefore, if he walks over and tries to say hello to you, he is bound to be rejected. I know this from working for so many years with so many guys and literally standing by their side, knowing that they want to say hello to you, but not feeling like they, like they can or like they're allowed. So in order to combat this, you want to have more time where you look like you're having downtime, where your mobile phone and all the dating apps that go along with it are in your handbag, you're not on Instagram, you are sat there looking pretty unoccupied. So this get, creates the best opportunity, which is actually least threatening and most approachable for a guy to say hello to you in real life. Double bind number three. Um, I really, oh, he's such a nice guy, but I just don't fancy him. Okay, you can learn into lots of self-criticism about the fact that you know that there's a guy that you've been spending time with and he's been awesome, he's doing all the nice things, but you just can't find yourself being attracted to him. And you're kind of annoyed that the only people you seem to be attracted to are the quote-unquote bad guys. 
Now, the double bind here is kind of a sneaky one because it shows in your mindset about how you approach dating that you expect there to be nice guys out there who treat you well and are like very boyfriendy, and then bad guys who just are after one thing. In fact, we're not living in a pantomime. Guys are like, they're people, guys are people too. They are, they have feelings, they have emotional needs, they have different relationships that they want. So because of that, it's not your job to think that there's good guys and bad guys out there. Instead, you need to open your mind to the fact that people can give you a combination of both. People can want the same level of commitment as you and still have the same relationship values. It's not that you have to make a choice between the two things. If you feel like you have to make the choice, you might be pushing yourself to settle because you something in there feels uncomfortable with your status about being single. I'm here as a dating expert and I'm here to tell you it is freaking okay, it is more than okay to be single. Being single and choosing to spend time by yourself to make your life better and more rewarding because you want to meet someone who really rocks your world rather than just thinking I should really go along with it because it's about time I was in a relationship with someone. That is a defeatist mindset. If you say it to yourself, guaranteed you're gonna feel miserable about your dating life and in fact about your life in, t in general. Instead, I wanna make sure that your double binds free you to take action but also that the messages that you send to yourself in your day-to-day -day life put you in a position where you feel powerful. I think most dating advice sucks because I think it tells women that you should feel disempowered about dating. It says actually be really careful that he doesn't accidentally put you in just the hookup category. Be careful about being judged by a man. Be careful about expressing your emotional needs in case you scare him off. In fact, all I think this does is this makes you play a very cautious game, feel very bad about being single, and be constantly worried and anxious that you're doing something wrong. In fact, I'm gonna tell you that sometimes being single and having high standards is doing something right. It's doing something that's good for you. And in fact, that holding those standards to yourself and having positive beliefs about the men that you're gonna meet, how they're gonna treat you, and what kind of people to expect in your life, it's only gonna help you out in the future. If you wanna know my kick-ass guide to learning more about these dating skills, to meet more people in real life, but also to get into a great mindset around being single and to understand that singleness is a choice, and in fact, you're positioning yourself well to meet people that really are inspiring to you. If you are a crowd of non-settle, I would highly suggest you head over to hayleyquinn.com forward slash real love where in there i'm going to be giving you my free pdf about how you can meet more people in real life you will also receive a free video series about getting yourself into positive states of mind around dating if you currently feel in a rut or you feel sad or down about yourself because you recently went to a wedding and everyone asked you why you're single you need to watch this video series so head over to hayleyquinn.com forward slash real love